Hi everyone, it's Alyssa and welcome to You Can Learn Math. Okay, today's lesson is going to be more about logs. And again, this is the mathematical log, not any other physical meaning of the word log, like your trees. So logs or logarithms in math. This is part two, part, part one, bleh, part one, part one explained just what a log is and how to do sort of basic logs. And that's, uh, there's a link to that in the description below. This one's part two, and it's talking more about your log rules, the different rules that they have. Okay, so we're going to go through them one at a time and see why they're true. Again, just as a reminder, let's say if I had log base 5 of 125, it equals 3, because 5 to the power of 3 is 125. It's a very quick nut nutshell what a log is. Okay? So this one, first rule, rule numero uno says log base B of M times N equals log base B of M plus, there's a lag here, <laughs> it's making me mess up. There's a log on, a lag, <laughs> there's a lag and a log on my whiteboard. Okay, so there's rule number one. Let's put some real numbers in this to see if this makes sense. Okay, let's try these with like log base 10, because I think those are pretty easy. Let's say if I said log base 10 of 10 times 100 is equal to log base 10 of 10 plus log base 10 of 100. Okay, well let's see if this is true. Remember, this is our rule up here of what a log is. It's this base to this power, I can draw so much better with a stylus than the mouse, <laughs> equals that. It's a counterclockwise circle. All right, so first we have inside here, 10 times 100, well, I'm going to rewrite that and say log base 10 of 1,000. So I'm going to look just at this by itself, and I'm going to kind of ignore this right-hand side for a little bit, okay? I'm going to not look at that. Log base 10 of 1,000. 10 to what power is 1,000? 3, okay? 10 to the power of 3 is 1,000. All right, now if you look inside here, interesting little thing to note, this is just 10, which is the same as 10 to the power of 1, and 100 is the same as 10 squared, okay? And if you remember from our videos, links in the description below, of exponents, 10 to the power of 1 times 10 to the power of 2, we would add the exponents, making it 10 to the power of 3. Okay, so keep that in mind. That's part of why this rule is true. All right, so now I'm going to look at that right-hand side. Log base 10 of 10 plus log, wow, that looks like 10G. That's the internet of the future right there, 10G log base 10 of 100. Well, it's saying 10 to what power is 10? 1. 10 to what power is 100? 2. 1 plus 2 is 3. So can you kind of see how this is all being connected? Because that's what's in here. 10 to what power is 10? 10. 10 to what power is 100? 2. And if I'm multiplying those together, it's like 10 to the power of 3. And this question is saying 10 to what power is 1,000? Yeah, because that's, that's what's happening. Let's write it a little different way just to make sure. It's like saying, okay, you see how that all comes together there? It's 10 to what power equals... 10 times 10 squared, or 10 to the power of 1 times 10 to the power of 2. Well, we know from our exponent thing, it's 1 plus 2 is 3. 
So it's like I'm saying, 10 to the power of what equals 10 cubed? 3. Okay, you're just looking at the same thing from a lot of different angles and going back and forth. And that can be a bit twisty and turny. Oh, that was supposed to drag, not draw a random red line. Move down, like I asked. Okay, so again, this is our, our sort of rule. Okay, our sort of rule. <laughs> it is our rule. Why am I saying sort of? I don't know. All right, that's our rule. So log base B of M times N, log base B of M plus log base B of N. Because just like here, uh, I just feel the need to reiterate this. I'm sorry if I'm just belaboring the point, but you know, I just really want to make sure everyone's understanding why this is true. Okay, so it was like log base four, and it was, mm, we'll say 16 times 64. Okay, 16 is four squared, 64 is four cubed. If I want to combine those, it would be four squared times four cubed. I would add those exponents. So this is the same as log base four of four to the fifth. Okay, four to the power of what equals four to the fifth? Five. So if I'm saying it's the same as saying log base four of four squared plus log base four of four cubed. Yeah, two, three, two plus three is five. Okay, so as the saying goes, I think we beat that dead horse. So anyway, the opposite, remember how we did like dividing things? Like when we said five cubed divided by five squared, we would subtract the exponents. I bet you'll never guess what happens when we say inside the parentheses, something is being divided. When it was multiplied, we added, now that it's being divided, you'll never guess, not in a million, billion, trillion, quintillion, sextillion, septillion, octillion, Googleplex, years. When we're dividing, we're subtracting. Just like with the exponents, because I said these are cousins, they're related to each other. Three minus two, five to the power of one or just five. Okay. And to show a real world example of that, all right, we'll say log base two of eight divided by four. So that on its own, we could do several different ways. I could say, ah, well, eight divided by four is two log base two of two is one, two to the power of one is two. Okay, so I know right off my answer is going to be one. But let's write it out the long way and say, okay, so log base two of eight minus log base two of four. Two to the power of what equals eight? Three, I'm imagining there's an equal sign there. Imagining my little, and two to the power of what equals four? Two, three minus two, one. Same answer, we're back to one again. Imagine that, fancy that. Another way I could look at this and say, ah. Eight is two cubed, four is two squared. So, if I was dividing these and there wasn't this log involved, what would I do? I'd subtract, just like I did up here. Five cubed divided by five squared, I subtract three minus two. Same sort of thing. Here, I'm subtracting three minus two. So it makes perfect sense that this would be, I take them separately and then subtract them. It's three minus two. Okay, so those are our first two rules. All right, third rule here, 
checking my notes, making sure I don't forget anything. Log base B of M to the power of K equals doo -doo -doo, that same constant K times log base B of M. Okay, let's put some numbers in here. Okay, so log, we'll say log base 2 of 4 to the power of 3. Okay, 4 to the power of 3. And it's saying this is equal to 3 times log base 2 of 4. Well, let's do this the long way and then see if this is true. All right. 4 to the power of 3, since I know that 4 is 2 squared to the power of 3, and use my little exponent rule, then I would say 2 times 3. This is the same as 2 to the power of 6. All right, 2 to what power equals 2 to the power of 6? A 6. Okay, and over here, we have 3 times, and if I just do this bit right here, 2 to what power equals 4? 2. So, 3 times 2. Voila, 6. Okay. Alright, so that's our, our third rule there. And it makes sense if you're talking about, because you're doing it, you're doing it three times. Because it is saying, because um, it's four to the power of three. If I was saying log base two of four, and this is to the power of three, so it is four times four times four. And you know our previous rule that we had up there was that if I had log base 2 of, and I'm just going to use two of them, 4 times 4, it would be log base 2 of 4 plus log base 2 of 4. Do you remember that? That was the one that says like log base b of m times n equals log base b of m plus log base b of n. Remember that one? We said if we multiply them, it's the same as adding them. Well, that's all this is. It's just a, a shortcut version of it, but it's the exact same thing. It's not anything different because that's what's, what's happening here. So I've got three things multiplied together. So that rule that we learned, our rule one, says that this should be log base 2 of 4 plus log base 2 of 4 plus log base 2 of 4. Well, I have 4 to the power of 3, and here I've added it 3 times. So 3 times log base 2 of 4. And that's what this rule says. 3 times log base 2 of 4. It's all coming together. Okay, so that's it for part two. Those are your first three big rules. There's some more rules for logs. It just didn't want it all in one, in one video. It's a bit much to take in at one time. But if you're looking for some specific rules, I have in the description below which are in which parts. So the rest of the rules for logs will be in the epic part three conclusion. Epic, as epic as, you know, videos about algebra concepts can be. I'm trying. Anyways, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm half laughing at, at the idea of trying to make math epic. And I'm also half laughing at my very fluffy cat who's trying to get it on my laptop while I'm trying to record this. Anyways, uh, look out for part three. Description uh, has the links below. Hope this helped. If it did, please uh, like and subscribe. It's much appreciated. See you next time. Bye-bye.